Tonight, we're remembering the life and legacy of Brian Mulroney, a political force. And as Canada's 18th Prime Minister, he had many opponents across the aisle in the House of Commons. Jean Chrétien was one of them. Is it now a new idea that will be, should become part of the Tory program very soon? <laughs> I, I, I thought the last thing that I heard my honorable friend say was that he was going to eliminate the GST. We're joined now by former Prime Minister Jean Chrétien. Mr. Chrétien, thank you very much for, for, for joining us. And, and what was your reaction when you heard the news of the passing of Brian Mulroney? Well, I was not surprised because he was sick since uh, quite a long time. And... I had many occasions to talk to him while he was uh, at hospital or home, and uh, you know he was fighting very hard to stay alive, and he was very courageous. And eventually, he had to go, and it's a sad occasion for for the, for his family. He was a very good father and husband, and and had a great family, and he was a, a very important prime minister in Canada for a very turbulent period of Canada. And uh, it was an opponent of mine. We were across the aisle, but uh, we had a lot of things in common. We both believe in Canada. We had different uh, means to achieve the goal, to make Canada better. And, uh, to, but in being in politics, uh, we can be opponent and not necessarily uh, enemies. And, uh, and uh, so, and we had a lot of things in common uh, because we were both from rural Quebec. He was from Bécamo, I was from Shawinigan. He was, we both studied at Laval University. I was from a minority, he was too, because he was an anglophone in Quebec. So we had a lot of things in common, but we did not belong to the polit same political institution. I think it says something about the civility of politics in your era that the two of you could be opponents on the, on the House of Commons floor and yet still have a, a friendship outside of that. And, and I find it very intriguing that you, the two of you shared phone calls uh, in, in the last few months. Uh, I, I know that you shared stories about you know, your backgrounds in Quebec, but I wonder if you can tell us anything more about what you and, 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 and former Prime Minister Mulroney spoke about on the phone. Well, we never discussed uh, political issues. We were talking mainly about uh, the life, the past, uh, you know, what uh, we tease each other about some situation and so on. It was not any political discussion at that time that were needed. What should we know about Brian Mulroney? What do you know about him that maybe we would not have seen on the television camera? Oh, today there is not many things secret. Everything you see, it's what is the reality, you know? Everybody looks for some very secret thing. There is very little of that in life. There was some times when we had varied difficult disappointment or, or, or opposition, o opposing views, but uh, we expressed them generally in public and the public was aware and the public passed the judgments. How should we remember Brian Mulroney tonight? That public service is a very honorable thing to do. You know, he did that in a different way. He was a involved in the young conservative, uh, but uh, all his life he was in what we talk about, the, uh, the back uh, with the group of organizing the party and the election and so on. He came uh, from outside directly prime minister. He had no political uh, experience in the House of Commons when he pray, became prime minister in 84. I think he was in the House for a year and a half maximum. And that uh, while I was 30 years a member of parliament before I became prime minister. So, but uh, he had made a contribution while practicing law in his own way as a, a citizen. And I encourage a lot of people to look at him for that. It's, you don't have to be elected to make a contribution. 
Well, on this sad day, it's really nice to, to hear the reflections of one former prime minister speaking of another. Uh, Mr. Kretschia, thank you very much for speaking with us. My pleasure and offer my condolence to his wife and his uh, beautiful family. They can be proud of it.